Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Hey, hey. Good dude. So, Bonnie's asleep on the couch. Uh, we won't have very, <laughs> we won't have any disruptions from her, maybe. Cat somewhere, who knows. Uh, don't forget, <sighs> I drink whiskey and no things. Check it out, Redbeard Swag. Uh, link's in the description. So, this sample, I've never even heard of it. Uh, I believe it's a, uh, MGP or a it's from Indiana, I believe. So this was sent to me by one of my patrons, Mike Lisak. Lysak? Lysak? I, I'm sorry, Mike. I don't. I butcher your last name. This is Cat's uh, Obtainium, 14 year light whiskey. Now I was reading a little bit before we got into it. It is distilled in Indiana. Uh, it is this whiskey is 99% corn. So it's, it's, this is corn liquor, basically. Oh, the cap came out. It's basically corn liquor. 99% um, corn, distilled to 160, 160 to 190 proof, and aged in used oak. <sighs> this one, specifically, is 73.5% ABV. It is a 14-year-old light whiskey. So I just got this in the mail yesterday, and as soon as I read it, I was like, Oof, I need to review that post haste. So here we go with Cat's Eye, meow, Obtainium. And then, like I said before, I'm not a big fan of just pure corn whiskeys. Woo wee, don't get too close. Yeah, it's heavy heavy alcohol you kind of gotta you can't can't get down into it I mean it doesn't really smell like corn whiskey but it's just heavy alcohol heavy it's almost like flavored isopropyl alcohol on the nose all right let's see how it tastes at first I felt like I was drinking or tasting fingernail polish remover. <laughs> Nail polish remover. It's just that strong and sharp. But once you get past that, you start to catch some of the flavors from the barrel. It's very vanilla, almost butterscotch. And it's it is it's very light as far as the flavors go. It's very the only only thing that's powerful about that is the proof and it really it didn't like it didn't have much heat in the mouth i think the freaking uh old forester single barrel barrel strength had more heat so it is exactly what it's described it's a high proof light whiskey <laughs> and it doesn't to me it doesn't feel like it's that heavy in corn i don't i don't get the heavy corn presence from it so oh man it's it's a weird one i don't have i think i would have to use that as a mixer just to make drinks i like alcoholic yeah don't get too, i forgot it was 73 percent don't get too close on the nose singes it's like sex panther it singes the nostrils yeah it's it's not bad it's very interesting i mean in i'm looking at some retail prices here 55 bucks i wouldn't be ashamed to pay 55 bucks for this it's something that is incredibly unique and uh i mean i i would not be ashamed to purchase this one just to have it around and just give it to people <laughs> uh let's go one more step a little more heat on that second sip but whew, yeah it's it has a very light feel to it super sweet almost candy presence but if you can get past that rubbing alcohol nail polish remover type punch right in the front it's not a bad whiskey it would be something that i would use as a 
a mixer to make high proofed cocktails now yeah. because it it would more than likely be lost like the flavors will more than likely be lost in your drink so it'd be it's a lot better than drinking everclear <laughs> dude man yeah thanks mike that's super interesting and i'm going to share that with the guys and not tell them what it is <laughs> so anyway uh that's all i got on this one it is a uh mgp bourbon so let me give my all right so this comes to you this information comes to you from ace spirits.com it is a retail website but i mean they've got the price for 54.99 it is an mgp bourbon um they're let's see i'm gonna read off their notes the style of whiskey gives the spirit unique uniquely sweet and candy notes the nose of the whiskey is a vanilla butterscotch bomb transitioning into slight notes of citrus and cream butterscotch dominates the palate along with vanilla toffee and a hint of clove I think I get the clove on the back end. The finish is a warm, lingering, sweet heat, a nice Kentucky hug. But it's from Indiana. Various barrel finishes provide fruity and spicy notes, uh, building on his flavor profile. So, yeah, I mean, it's super sweet. And to me, this would be probably a perfect alcohol to use for mixed drinks where you don't want a lot of flavor, it'd be a better substitute than vodka or Everclear. Just saying. Anyway, that's all I got. Don't forget, check out the new swag over there. I'm gonna try to put some new shirts over there, make them a little more simplified uh, until I can get some better designs made. Thanks again to Mike for sending me the samples. I've got two more, another unobtainium, and he also sent the Missouri batch for the same Houston 14 year. So we'll do that one probably next week, but Thanks for watching like the video subscribe uh, Share it with your friends check the description below for all the links to help out with the bills around the house check out patreon if you can Let me hold a dollar uh, Thanks to all my patrons again for donating sticking with me appreciate it. Thanks for everybody who's sending me samples I mean, it's just 2021 is the year of being gracious to your fellow friend Anyway, don't forget to check out the Bearded Idiots. Like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. Be safe, don't drink and drive. Take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers.